G'day, g'day. Welcome back to Budgets with Belle, doing boxes with Belle. I um, hope everyone's well. Um, so this one is going to be super quick, super duper 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 quick. Um, it's kind of an advent calendar and kind of isn't. Um, so I got from Maya this one. I'm not going to be doing my sums like I normally do um, because it's just not worth it. But um, So I got this uh, Christmas cookie advent calendar. Okay, so I just wanted to have a quick look with it. I'll try that again. A quick look at it with you. Um, but I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty because, I mean, spoiler alert. Guys. Okay, so um, this is what you get. There is a recipe for cookies here. Just standard sugar cookies, I think. Um, yeah, standard sugar cookies. Um, nothing um, revolutionary. And then you get all of these cookie cutters and um, these cookie cutters or yeah. metal cookie cutters. I think they're cute and super worth it really. I, yeah, I can't remember how much it cost me but I don't think it was a lot. Um, I'll put it down the bottom in the description with a link um, but I think it's pretty cute. And you get one, two, three, four, twelve. Yeah, so I think that's pretty cute. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Okay, so the, the twine you can use as um, to hang the cookies. I don't know why you would hang the cookies. Ridiculous. You wouldn't. Um, so that was that. I got that from Maya. Um, from memory, it wasn't very expensive. Okay, so now I'm quickly going to do, I've got this, um, well, I say quickly, I'm lying, it's not going to be quickly, um, Box of Beauty, Deluxe Box of Beauty from Maya. Um, so this was $89, still got the price on. Um, and I obviously I haven't opened it, so let's just get right in, yeah, because I am interested to see what the Maya Deluxe Box of Beauty has. Um, okay, so it felt like it was decently, like that's closed decently. I think there may be magnets involved. Yeah, definitely a magnet somewhere. Um, might be right along the edge because I can't feel it specifically. Um, I can't remember how many days this advent calendar was. Let me just have a quick check. Um, that's not it. That's it. Um, box two it is. There was box one, which I couldn't get, wasn't available. Hmm, okay. It doesn't say, maybe they're here. Nope, it doesn't say. So let's find out. I don't know. Uh, it depends on how deep it might be two layers. I don't know. It doesn't have numbers on it either. So YOLO, let's just start. Um, so it says skincare is self-care, get in the glow, little luxuries, perfume is the perfect accessory, ready, set, makeup. So I'm just going to start top left and work my way down. So box one. Okay, so they've got a few things in by the looks. I've got a Clinique Dratically, oh my goodness, English is too hard. I have a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion plus, that's it, plus one of those. I've got... Alright, so shaving cream. Okay, there's not many masculine products in these um, these things. And whitening mint toothpaste. Okie dokie then. 
So that is box one. I'm going to put them back in. So it's only one layer too, but it looks like there's a couple of things in each box. Sometimes, not this time. Two, NATO Sun Invisible Fluid Facial Sunscreen, SPF 50 plus. There's that one. Let me see what that one's like. If you have to shake it first, does it smell sunscreeny? No, it doesn't. Very liquidy. Mm, it smells kind of sunscreeny. It's all right. As long as it does what it does. Get in the glow is next. This has a Lash Clash, Yves Saint Laurent. Mascara by the looks. Yeah, which honestly would be really, really hard. Do um, I need a mirror in here? No, it's not too bad. I mean, I've already got a Napoleon. Um, on and my camera is facing the wrong way for me to be doing it properly but it seems all right and a mac hyper real fresh canvas cleansing oil <gasps> nice right, again it's, it's tiny I don't use it. I'll give it a go if I like it. I'll get it. It smells clean. It doesn't really smell like much, to be fair. Okay. Number three. Number four. Little Luxuries. Oh, this has a few things in. It has Elizabeth Arden. Revage, is it? Prevage, Prevage. Yeah. It's some kind of um, cream. It's slightly off white. Oh, it smells pretty perfumey, which always worries me because um, my skin can be a bit sensitive, as we have found out. Um, but yeah, it's a bit kind of off colour and quite bad for me. But you know what, Elizabeth Arden a lot of the time is quite bad for me. This is Rosa Gardenia Fluid Cream. It is not very much. I'm not going to open it right now. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to drop it instead. Yeah, I think that's fair. Um, Clarins Paris Total Eye Lift, another cream, I don't really use eye creams but you know, we'll give them a go, just a white cream, this one does not smell much at all, yeah it doesn't, it smells like cream, like it doesn't smell fragrancy. At all. Oh, it feels nice, that one. Very cooling. Which is good because it is once again hot today. Okay, that was four, five. Ooh. Oh, this is the um, Lancome. It's quite fragrance, but nice. It smells rosy. It smells rose it is hp and 300 peptide cream or oh, peptide cream okay nice yeah i like the smell I, but i like a floral can't help it this is versace dylan blue eau de toilette five mils Oh, that's a nice, nice bottle. Uh, 
And let me see what it smells like. Oh, it's not that strong a smell, but it smells, it is masculine. It is quite nice. It smells like clean, fresh, yeah, clean, fresh kind of smell. It's um really nice, actually. It smells kind of familiar. It does smell kind of familiar. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. But that is a more masculine one, so that one I'll give to my boys. That's really nice. Nice smell. Okay, five, six. Okay, we have got Benefit, The Poor Professionals. Ah, it's a primer. Yep, I use a professional setting spray sometimes when I think about it. Um, I don't mind it. This one is Bondi Sands and it's a day cream, hydrating, whipped moisturiser, which is not bad. And this one is a Tahitian Gardenia perfume, Eau de Toilette. Let me have a look. Is it on? Oh. Is it song? Is that how you pronounce it? I think it's song. S O H U M. I'll give this one a go. I've already got perfume on today. But... Oh, it's a roller. Oh, it is very, very floral. I mean, what do you expect from Tahitian Gardenia? But. It is extremely floral. It's a little metal rollerball there. If you don't like florals, do not look anywhere near this one. But um, I quite like a floral, as I said earlier. So it's all right with me. Okay, that's that one. Number six, that was. Number seven, which is my birthday, so the December. Okay. Oh, it's quite heavy. Choose Chi Chi Eau de Parfum Pink Peony. So this is going to be floral again. Okay, so this one has on the back, it looks like their top notes, bottom notes and mid notes. Yep, so top notes, bergamot, pear and pink peppercorn. Middle notes, peony, iris and lilies. And bottom notes, musk, cedarwood and vanilla. Oh, nice. It's a very cute bottle. Who doesn't love a cute bottle? I'm just going to spray it in the lid because I've got um, perfume on. I'm actually wearing the Good Girl Blush, which is one I liked least of them, uh, from the Carolina Herrera um, calendar, but, I, yeah, I'm wearing it today. Oh, yeah, that's, that is really nice. Really light floral. You can definitely pick up the vanilla in there. That I really like that a lot. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay, and this one. Similar colour. Signature. True Home. Tuscan Blood Orange Candle. If I can get into it, it's got tape on. It's got tape on. There we go. Now it doesn't. Okay. A little candle. Oh, very, very, very orangey. It's you know, the labels on crooked, so I would not be able to have this in my house. I would have to um, peel the label off or, um, yeah, put it in a holder like so you can't see the label because that, that would drive me nuts. It's making me want to twitch just, just seeing it there. 
that's I can't look at that okay so I'm I'm a little bit funny about things like that and that label was crooked and really bothering me sorry <laughs> apologies but um yeah that wasn't nice I didn't like that okay and then eight by the looks of things eight ready set makeup we got here we've got a sample perfume Creed 1760 it's in a little atomizer just gonna spray it on the card point towards the card oh yeah that smells it's nice it's um really something from my childhood I can smell it smells like it is a little floral but kind of like a lolly as well a bit of musk wow cucumber mask sheet that's what we want sheet masks happy about that you want another one okay you know another sheet mask as well boost of youth Biodegradable bamboo sheet mask. There you go. Two sheet masks in the last day and a sample perfume. What a rubbish last day. Okay. So that is that one. Um, I am... It cost me $89. It is not worth $89. Uh, I think that's a rip-off. I'm not going to even bother doing the sums because... There is nothing in me that is going to convince me that that was worth 89 bucks. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not gonna. I might I might do it later, but um, for now I'm not going to bother because I just don't think it's worth it. Um, all right, but that is it for now. I will be back um, to do another calendar. I've got I've got a lint one that my son is going to do with me. Uh, so we might do that later today or I've got a book one I've got oh I might do another body shop one and then a the last cosmetic capital one today because I want to get them done so that I can get my gift bags and stockings finished so um, yeah I'm gonna set them up on a table behind me when I can and I, I just want to get them finished so um yeah that's what I'm gonna do and yeah so I will see you in the next video oh oh hey wait stop flipping that don't forget to subscribe if you like um you know between friends no pressure um and that's it so thank you for listening to me ramble and take care bye